So I, I had the idea to build a tiny house for my thesis freshman year uh, in college, so around six years ago. And the whole idea was I was going to make a 3D model and then build it out of cardboard. And as my skills got better and as I started making furniture and doing things like that, I realized I could probably build the whole thing. And then sort of my junior year, I started planning the whole project. And the school said, if you're going to do it, you need to do it right. And that got me interested in how could I learn all of these things that I didn't learn in school, like electricity and plumbing and solar and all of this stuff. And the thought that came to mind was, why don't I try to get things sponsored? Uh, I'm not sure about OSU, but CCAD does a lot of sponsored classes uh, where companies can come in and hire students to do work for them. And in turn, so you get a great portfolio piece and they learn from the experts. And so with that, I had the idea, well, why don't I make my thesis a sponsorable project? where I could go out and reach out to these companies and see, hey, why, are, would, why wouldn't, or do they, would you be willing to sponsor a student build? Um, and with that, every single thing in the home was sponsored, uh, from the container itself all the way to our permits and inspections from the City of Columbus to the paint uh, and you know, my rent right now at the container yard. What's your plan going forward? Uh, so right now I do a modular design with containers. Um, I'm hoping to switch more into just micro design, whether that's in small apartments, uh, sort of anything like that, to make little spaces more efficiently. Um, over here is the 22 people that helped with the project, uh, and then the 70-ish people who had a hand in building it, from everyone who helped paint to carrying plywood uh, to the local coffee shop owner who brought over coffee a couple mornings to keep us going and things like that. Why is Tom's name upside down? So he's the uh, dean of the design school and as the dean of the design school he likes things neat and orderly uh, and when we were putting on the vinyl on this three-dimensional surface it's hard to get in a straight line and he came over with a 10-foot level and said that his name was the only name not in line. We quickly pulled that off, flipped it upside down, and kept it perfectly in line, uh, just as a little harmless pr uh, prank towards them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> some design humor. So uh, is your plan to sell a bunch of these? Yeah, so that's what I'm figuring out right now, is whether it would be best for me to uh, license the design and then allow people to just download their own plans and make it themselves, whether it would be a sort of Ikea style where I just sell a kit of parts and for you know, $10,000 you can put it together yourself. Um, or if I want them fully assembled and they just get dropped off and all you need to do is plug in. Uh, this is designed to be like that ladder option where all you would have to do is plug in. And so with that, we have two different electric imports. This is a 50 amp 220, and then this is a 30 amp three prong. This is the outlet that most houses have on the outside. So this way, if you wanted this for a backyard office, an, exi uh, an auxiliary dwelling, mother-in-law suite, something like that, you could get all of your electrical just with a standard uh, plug, you wouldn't have to run any additional lines. Over here is our water in, which is a uh, three quarter inch garden hose, and then this is a rapid uh, one and a half inch for rainwater collection system. So, I'm uh, not sure if you know any of the tiny house lingo, but uh, a lot of people are interested in off grid living, sure. which is when you're not connected to anything at all. And so, this would allow you to have a rainwater collection system uh, as well as piggyback off of our solar panels on the roof. Cool, yeah, I was going to ask about that. Um, You've got two up top, right? Yep, yeah, so solar came from our good friends, Eco House Solar. They are over there in the top right. Um, they also gave expert advice, and that was huge for me, because I had no idea how to install solar panels and how to uh, have both a positive and a negative feed on my circuit. Is it enough to power the entire thing? So it is for a single person, um, and it is to live moderately. If you wanted to put in anything that was a big power draw, you would need more panels. Um, we wired this to be enough to run uh, you know, a laptop, a TV, the basic things for right. people. Um, if you wanted to put like a kiln or a heavy duty dryer or something like that, you may need some more power. That's why we have the 220 pole. Sure. Uh, that way you can get any heavy equipment you might want out of this if someone wanted to use it for a workshop or anything like that. Cool. 